by the goalkeeper. And she finished it! Hello guys, welcome. We're here for a very hot day on Randall's Island. We've got Sanzac against Borgetto. The reserves are about to kick off behind us. And then we're going to have the first teams playing at 4pm. The Borgetto reserves, top of the league at the moment. They've won seven, lost one. And Sanzac not too far behind them with a game in hand. If Sanzac can win that game in hand, then they just need Borgetto to drop. Oh, well actually, if they win that game in hand, they would just need one more win. And they would take the pole position in the league, presuming that the Ukrainians who are second don't get uh, a result today. But lots open for, for them and uh, Borgetto's first team, congratulations to them. They have been crowned the, the champions of the Division 2 after Central Park Rangers lost 2-0 to Japan. But we will be seeing Borgetto's first team against Sanzac at 4pm. And uh, Sanzac still in it for the promotion fight. If they can get a win against Borgetto, they're going to be up against it. But uh, let's uh, first, without further ado, have a look at our reserve starting lineups. Borgetto Reserves is led by uh, David Kermy. And uh, we have, and the team manager is uh, Benny Di Pasquale. We have uh, in goal, number one, Joseph Placetti. And we've got them together. Let's, let's we've got, we're trying out a new multi view. And there we go, just trying out some of our new fancy technology. We've got Joseph Blasetti in goal. Number two, Christian Lorenzano. We have number three, Tristan Kermy. Number four, Pranito. We have Anthony Pagelli. The forward, number 13, John Capronigo. We have Ambrogio Di Pasquale, the 14. We have the recent signer, number 15, Gerardo Sanchez. We have uh, number 16, Pantelis Ziolis. Number 17, Andrew Lorenzano. In the middle, the big man, Ambrio Satos. We have uh, Mario Pio Di Pasquale. And that was the skipper, Mario. And we have uh, number 22, Marcus Adamak. 24, Mattia, Matthew Ramirez. 26, the Ford, Mattia Costan. Number 27, Thomas Figuera. We have number 28, Julian Correa, number 30, Jose Acala, number 33, Christian Pacheco, number 34, Justin Silva, number 35, Piero Musso, we've got quite a big roster, 36, Tyler Cummy, the goalkeeper, Anthony Simos, number 43, Thomas Rocco, and finally, and not least, in that long list, Number 45, Junior Del Rosario. There is our Borgetto Reserves SC lineup. Let's have a look at our Sanzac squad for today. We have number two, Karim Alasawi. Number three, Demir Dasik. Number four, Elmer Makic. Number five, Evian Lukovic. Number six, Merisin Mustafic. Number seven, Aliha Hodic. Number eight, Adis Perisic, who's also the coach of the team. Number nine, Vero Durovic Savic, the fox in the box. Number 10, Albert Kolenovic, the skipper. Number 11, Jesus Jimenez. Number 12, Mirzet Perisic. Number 13, Nurdini Akai. Number 14, Meldon Sadanovic. 15, Bajram Krikic. Number 16, Safet Dezaferovic. We have the goalkeeper, Elvin Rezamatovic. The young man, Ramo Sekic. Novovic. And uh, Rezan Pajic. And there is our Sanzac squad. And I've been told they're very depleted today. They've got a lot of injuries, Sanzac, both from the first and reserve team. We can see them now out there on the field.
and it is a roasting hot day at Randall's Island, about 90 degrees. Let's so have a look who we got out there for Sandak. We have uh, Reza Matovic in goal, of course. Lukovic at centre back. Menning Sekic, left back. Dezaferovic, right back. We have Darko Drinkic and Alasawi in the middle. We've got a. Uh, Podzik, Persic, and a Kai in there. Perisic on there and uh, Mustafic on the left back. So sorry, Medin Sekic will be in the centre back. So no Makic, he may be up with the first team today. And uh, for uh, Borgetto, we have a uh, looks like Simos in goal. Justin Silva alongside uh, Del Rosario in centre back. We've got Ambrogio Di Pasquale at a uh, right back. Centre midfield, we've got uh, Ambrios Satos. We've got uh, the skipper, Pio Di Pasquale, well out there. Correa, looks like he's leading the line. And off and underway we go. Sandak in the white. Borgetto in the blue. Nice early bit possession for Correa, given out to Thomas Figueroa, who's on that left wing. Justin Silva. A big. Storage Derby, can they conserve their energy today? Both of these teams, it's going to be a long haul in this heat. Here's uh, Di Pasquale. We've got uh, Mattia Costan as well on the right wing, Borgetto. I said Borgetto reserves leading the table right now. Sanzac not too far behind. So it's given up to Costan. Back uh, to Di Pasquale, into Ambria Satos. Nicely worked there. And there's a cost an early chance to swing it in. He's looking in for Correa, Alasawi. Trying to bring that one out. And there's a Darko Drinkic. Looking for a handball, the referee not giving anything. And uh, Di Pasquale, and that's a decent looking ball in. There's a fair of it going out. It's here, it's with uh, Correa, Alasawi with a good intervention there. Figuerera winning it back and he's coming down to that byline. Early possession for Borgetto. And look at it, half clearing it. Pierce it. Trying to close that down. Play still going on, that's a nice little give and go. And Pierce it, trying to bring that away. Touch a little bit heavy. And uh, Del Rosario will mop that one up. Justin Silva giving out to Di Pasquale. Down to Costan. Tossed in and uh, just uh, looking for it there. Gerardo Sanchez. And Gerardo Sanchez and both uh, Del Rosario, who's on the ball right now, recent signings. And there is uh, Gerardo Sanchez. Nice little turn, giving it to Figueroa. And uh, flick back over. And uh, Correa trying to bring that down. It's going to fall for Costan. But all Borgetto in these opening few minutes.
Reza Matovic will uh, take the goal kick. And there's uh, Costan. Nice give and go with Gerardo Sanchez. Ben in second, the veteran winning that one up back though. He's looking for a smart ball in behind for Hodzik. Ambrogio Di Pasquale winning that one well. Looking out to Del Rosario. And you can probably hear it's a windy day here at Randall's Island as well as the heat. And I suppose the amount of time that I've spent complaining about the weather at Randall's has been quite considerable. Whether it's been uh, the rain and now the sun's come out and now I'm unhappy with that. But very exposed out here. But just happy to be out here covering these two teams. That's a lovely turn there by Gerardo Sanchez. And he's given it to Ambrose Satos. Darko Drinkit. He's giving it to Akai. Okay, back to Mustafi. Del Rosario, content just to give that back to Simos. And Justin Sova. Looking for that one over the top, and it's a good look up to Costan, and Costan has got there first, and he's got Correa in eggs of space. And it was behind Correa, and that was a really wasted chance there. Costan did well to find the position, but if he just found Correa, Correa had all the time in the world to finish it. Justin Silva looking over the top again for Correa. Lukovic, leaving it back, but it's a miscommunication. And Figueroa has put the Bugetto reserves up ahead. Caught Rezimatovic sleeping there. Reza Matovic asking the referee maybe if he had two hands on it. But the goal was given. And I have to say, based upon these first five minutes, well deserved. Gesto dominated these first stages of the game. Darko Drinkit looking to send it up to Hodzik. Brought down by Di Pasquale. Back to Del Rosario. Pacheco. And there's uh, Gerardo Sanchez. Mustafik ruining it and uh, just about getting away from Costan. Alasawi, nice stink forwards to Hodzik and it's their first chance the number seven's had to drive forwards. Got some options in the box. He's going to try and beat around Silva and uh, it's a a little bit too much of a physical tackle from Justin Silva. And Hodzik got a free kick to Sanzak. Right in the edge of the box. And Akai. We'll deliver this one in. Sounds like a five up in there. And Akai sending in towards that far post. And Akai got ahead and it's still bouncing around. Di Pasquale partially clearing it, but that was a high, high foot. By Mustafic. I think that is uh, Brandon Silva down. Sounds like making a, a change. And uh, Alasawi, who I uh, imagine will feature in that first in game. 
doing a rest. So they're going to need to save his legs. So here comes uh, Gerardo Sanchez. Looking to drive it out of defence. He's still got it. Giving out to Andrea Satos. And Andrea Satos went for the spectacular. But in a second, it's closing it down. Perisic. And cornered out. That's uh, Novovic who's uh, come on for Sanzak. <coughs> Looking along again for Hodzik, who probably offers uh, the biggest threat for Sanzak today. Alan, number 18 is uh, Novovich, right? Who's number 18? Uh, the one who just came on here? Yeah, Perisic. Another Perisic. Another Perisic. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. It's not Mizet though, right? Here comes uh, Borgetto back with... Uh, it's all right, it's all right. Perisic. I got, I got. Thanks, mate. All right, good luck, Alan. Played for Melin Sekic. Coming away with it. And he just dribbled that one out. And it's uh, Perisic who's come on the number 18. comes a Perisic down the left side. That's gone out for a uh, Correa, back to Figueria, the goal scorer. Pacheco, into Correa. Justin Silva into Andrea Satos. Rogetto continuing to control the possession. That's Ambrogio Di Pasquale. Costan, Medin Sekic, putting on some pressure. Back to, well, it's going to be back to Di Pasquale, but uh, I think him and Ambrose Satos just getting a little confused there. Here's Perisic. Uh, it's four passes and straight back with Costan. And uh, it's a good looking ball. And he's found Correa. And Reza Matovic off his line quickly and made himself big. Correa well picked out there by Costan. They're coming back at them again though, Borgetto, and it's just an assault right now. Figueroa, all the step-overs in the world. 
Lukovic, stop in the drink it. Out to Perisic and uh, good boy out to Hodzik and uh, Hodzic has won that first tackle. And Javier Satos is trying to chase back. Hodzic one on one with him, cutting on his right. And can he make it one one? He can. It's an excellent counter attacking goal by Sanzak. Perisic slipping Hodzic through. Who won the first 50 50 with Justin Silva and then cutting on that right foot past Andrea Satos. And I think he put it through Simos's legs. And Sanzak like bring it all level. Checo, two goals, two goals early. In this game, I doubt it's going to be the last we have today. I said, if Sanzak can win this, they actually can overtake Borgetto and Godofrance Gold. Borgetto at the moment leading the table. And it really has, uh, Borgetto dominated the game, but Sanzak breaking well. Hodzic, who has carried a good attacking threat for Sanzak all season. He's got himself on the score sheet again. Here comes uh, Del Rosario. This round uh, Perisic and into Pio Di Pasquale. The skipper giving it back to Gerardo Sanchez. And that trio in the middle for Vegetto Reserves really can play at Ambrio Satos. Di Pasquale. And uh, Gerardo Sanchez, De Rosario, giving it back to Gerardo Sanchez. Chivasquale out to Costan. Costan looking for Correa down the line. Ben Sekic. Tried to shuffle it out, but he hasn't managed to. And Correa giving it back to Costan. Costan just needs to find half a yard. Lukovic closing it down. It's Perisic again, Hodzik. Pushing up, Akai also ahead of him. Giving it to Akai. Akai, too slow on it. And Gerardo. Sanchez, lovely feet, and he slipped through Correa. And Correa has been caught from behind. And I have to say, that did look from here like a penalty. But nothing given. Kai looking for that switch. But well, intercepted by Pacheco. It's Correa again who getting lots of time on the ball at the moment, the striker. Back into Correa. Gives it out to Pacheco. Pacheco send it in. Lukovic clears out that one. Figueira. Nice twist and turn there by Figueira. Couldn't slip it through though to Di Pasquale. And he did a little bit too eager to win that ball back for Figueira and uh, free kick given on him. Perisic into uh, Alice Perisic. One of the handball, the referee not giving. Pacheco, and uh, it's a good ball by Gerardo Sanchez. Oh, almost very close. That's 
Brandon Silva has come on for Borgetto Reserves on that left wing. Vukovic. That's a little bit loose by Perisic, but in return, loose by Brandon Silva. His brother Justin getting a big head on that. Perisic. Out to uh, Mustafik. Mustafik looking to slip in Hodzik. And I think the referee would have blown that far offside anyway, but let's it run through. We're 20 minutes into this first half. They're all tied up. Borgetto having most of the game. And uh, getting the first goal. But it was uh, Hodzik who brought it back level. And here he is, Hodzik. Doko Drinkic switching out to uh, Medin Sekic. Sekic, up to Hodzik, up to Perisic, and Perisic, up to Mustafic, just a little too high for him. And Borgetto making another change, it's uh, the goal scorer Hodzic making way, and Alassawi coming on. Man, it's very, very hot, and I wouldn't be surprised if the referee even gave a uh, Water break in the middle of this uh, half. Sun's just gone in for a second though, mercifully. And Pacheco sending that one in. Uh, not a good ball and comfortable for Lukovic. Out to Darko Drinkic. Alasawi. Lively first touch. A little bit. Oh, just got ahead of Silva. Slipped it for his legs. Perisic pushing up ahead of Alasawi. That's given out to Pat Di Pasquale. That's Ambrogio who's uh, moved up there and it's uh, sent in towards Costan. And uh, Costan is trying to fire in the end of the goal. It looks like Ambrogio Di Pasquale has moved to that centre forward position. Got Ramirez just coming on there for the right back. And sent in towards the number 14 is uh, Pio Di Pasquale. And what a hit by Pio Di Pasquale. And he made the April goal of the month shortlist with a volley. And I think he may well have just booked himself a spot on the May one as well. And he looked like he barely broke a sweat there, the skipper. Just brought it down and as cool as you like. Fired it in. And Borgetto back ahead. And Mustafic push forwards back. A little bit isolated. As well, it goes back to Akai and Akai. A good first touch. Switching out to Dezaferovic. And he sent that one in and it wasn't too far ahead of Perisic. And what a hit by uh, Pio Di Pasquale. Brandon Silva looks to absolutely lace that in towards Rojo Di Pasquale. Back with Brandon Silva, who's moved into that central midfield position. And he's looking over the top for Costa, and he's found some space in behind. The referee is going to blow that far off offside. Costa just couldn't resist trying to get his own spectacular volley there, though. Jacob. 
And that's uh, Alan, number 21, Alan coming on. First time, Zach, and uh, Puriset. Coming off and having a break. I'm sure you're getting a lovely sound of the water bottles cracking, and that will not be the last. There's it. Alan with his first touch. Pater Ramirez. That was long by uh, Simos for Pacheco. It's going to be a throw for Alasawi. Back to Darko Drinkic. Drinkic rid the first tackle. He's got another throw for Sanzak. That's going to be a corner kick for. The Bosnians. And guys, just a reminder, this is not the only action we're going to have today. We've got so many games coming up to you. The next one is going to be the first teams of Borgetto. The now newly crowned Borgetto first team facing off against Sanzac. And Sanzac must win to have a chance of making a promotion playoff spot. Borgetto have already secured their ticket to the first division. But that will be kicking off at 4pm. So stay tuned for that, guys. Alasawi to deliver this one in. And uh, Akai didn't connect on that well, but still in there. Draws down to Drinkic. And Lukovic couldn't keep over it. And the uh, referee just calling a water break. And we're going to take a, a real quick break as well. Uh, guys, and we are back from the water break that was much needed. It is absolutely roasting. We're at 90 degrees. Sun is bearing down.
And guys, I hope some of you were able to tune in last night. It was a very exciting day for Game of Frame. We had our first uh, semi-pro, or pro, whatever you want to call it, coverage. We had USL2 and UWS Soccer with the Long Island Rough Riders. And a big thank you to them if anyone are watching for bringing us in. We're going to be doing all the Rough Riders home games for this season. Very exciting. And uh, those games should be up now on the YouTube channel. We live stream them, they take a bit of time to process, but definitely worth a watch both those games. There was plenty of drama late on in both of the matches. And we were at the Mitchell Athletic Complex in a real commentary box, which was quite something. Giving out to Ramirez. And, uh, Tristan Kami has uh, joined the fray. Going into Mario Pio. Pio to Brandon Silva. Out to Pacheco. Pacheco pushing forwards. Send that one in uh, Di Pasquale, giving it back to Gerardo Sanchez. On the turn and uh, did well to fashion out the shooting opportunity, but comfortable in the end for the goalkeeper. And uh, Kermi, he's going to have an effort with his uh, left foot, took a deflection off of a stands up player, but referee judging the last touch did come off of Borgetto's shirt, going to be a goal kick. Sanchez winning that one and uh, Ramirez giving it down to Kermi to Gerardo Sanchez his first touch was a little bit loose and uh, Dasic to Kai Darko Drinkic looking back for Dasic brought down there by uh, Silva and Bocheco who's seen plenty of the ball in the Sanzac half the left back giving it to Ambrogio Di Pasquale an intervention by Lukovic Play waved on and he's looking in for Kami and Kami's coming in, hits it back across and straight at Rezimatovic who was alert with his reactions. And Sekic into Dasic. Persic too slow with that one and Gerardo Sanchez looking for Kami again. Lukovic. Too much there. The Kai just loose. And uh, Brandon Silva is driving forward. And it's a 4 3 for Bogetto here. Giving out to Ambrosio Di Pasquale. Fired in the near post. And Rosa Mastovic saved in the near post and got it on the rebound. Uh, it just looks like a question of not if, but when Bogetto get the third at the moment. Benin Sekic looking for Mustafic, but a low over here. Sounds like making another change, and it's uh, Fuzzy coming on, and Perisic who's looking very, very overheated coming off. up to Ambrogio Di Pasquale to Zafarovic coming in too strong on him behind it's going to be a free kick and our Sanzac announcer has just shown up and we're going to be on the same touchline so we should get some good ambience and this is a free kick about 30 yards out for Borgetto, Andrea Satos standing over it. 
Running silver there as well. And Vesatos hits it around the wall and just flashed past the post. Caught that well, bent it around the wall. Andrea Satos. Brandon Silva coming off. Correa back on. That's it, flicking that one on. Look at Valasawi. Menesekic's brought that one down. Giving it to Mustafic. Correa's moved right back into the centre forward position. And that's how we're looking for a breakthrough. And actually, that's uh, not Brandon Silver who made way, but uh, Pio Di Pasquale who got that super volley. And Correa's come on for Pacheco. Continue to adventure up that left side. Simos out to Ramirez. Back to Simos. That's going to come into Akai. He's got a bit of time. And Akai looking in for Perisic, but he had uh, Interchange and Gerardo Sanchez giving that down to Correa. Lukovic covering it well. Gonna be a throw in for Borgetto. Ramirez taking that one. Come, he managed to get past Hodzic, but couldn't get around the second tackle. But it's going to be another Borgetto throw. Ramirez will take it. Ramirez, and that's uh, Ferreira who's also come on for uh, Justin Silva in the centre back position. Andrea Satos. So that one, Alasawi, just about keeping it in. There's a Ferovic. And just put Medin Sekic in a little bit of trouble. Medin Sekic, very cool with the half turn. And Mustafic coming forwards with it. Into Dasic. And Dasic looking for a long one to Alasawi. Pacheco alert to it. Del Rosario. Bring it down, nice little feint. And knocking it out, I think, uh, who is it? There's a man down over there. That's uh, Correa, who just came on. He's going to go sit. And Costan coming back on for Pacheco. Here's uh, Perisic and Akai's fan Hodzic. And Hodzic's always got one to his name. But he's offside. Bravo, bravo. Come on, come on. Hodzic's still looking like the most likely signs that player to get them back level. It's not intercepted by... Uh, there's a Ferovic. He managed to win the first tackle. Played out and it's an early ball by Brandon Silva. Medin Sekic, who's looked pretty short in that centre-back position. Intercepting it, looking up for Perisic and Perisic was trying to feed it out to Alasawi.
Lukovic going back to Medin Sekic. To Dasic. Dasic back to Medin Sekic. Drinkic skipping around one tackle. But Pacheco. A solid one to retrieve it back for Borgetto. Okay, intercepting that one and uh, Alasawi. It's my little touch back to. Okay. That's it. That's it. Looking to slip in the reverse ball. Forced Alasawi. Both uh, teams midfields in particular looking really tired. And it's a really big pitch as well. It's making this uh, heat extra hard. And Brozzi Pasqualedo looking at for Costa and Medin Sekic intercepting. Bravo, Medo. Bravo, Medo. Clearing it out. Di Pasquale very nearly finding Costan's head. Brandon Silva back to Ferreira. Played up to Ambrogio Di Pasquale. And he's cut past the defender, coming down to the byline. But looking to send it back to Mario Pio Di Pasquale, who's back on. Couldn't find him, and here's Dasic, Hodzic, pushing down that left. Uh, intercepted well by Ramirez, and he's found Costan. And Costan just couldn't bring it under a spell. Mustafic back to. There's a matter of it. Dasic. In Turkey. Trinkets into Dasic again. Dasic looking in behind again for Perisic. And uh, Perisic just couldn't bring it under a spell. But Sanzakar starting to test that Borgetto back line with those passes in at their defence. Pacheco into Andrea Satos. Back to Pacheco. Andrea Satos out to Pacheco. Pacheco looking for Ambrogio Di Pasquale, but Medin Sekic intercepted that one. He's looking again for Perisic. Hodzic's going to chase it. Simos off his line and just clearing that one out. Staffish looking for Dasic. Dasic appealing for a foul, nothing given. So we've just got a couple of minutes left in this first half with Bozzetto ahead. They started the scoring off with uh, Figuera sneaking in at Rezimatovic. Hodzic brought it back with a fantastic counter attack before uh, Di Pasquale and Mario Pio Di Pasquale hit a super volley to put the league leaders back in front. Brandon Silva looking in behind for Lukovic and it's found its way through to Tyler Kermi and Kermi's through, can he make it three? He can! It was a slip that let him in and Kermi was ruthless in front of goal and Borgetto right before the half-time whistle going in in the driving seat. Jetto got a big hill to climb to get back into this one. 
Turkish. Back to Dezaferovic. Sekic out to Perisic. Mustafic. Falls back to Sekic, looking over the top, but Ferreira winning that one. Kostan. Into Brandon Silva. Sounds I'd be a little bit disappointed because they were just starting to stretch that Borgetto back line in the last five minutes for some long passes. They just couldn't bring it down. But there is the half time whistle. Borgetto 3 1 up on this very hot day in Randall's Island. And we'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Do not go anywhere.
Gordo Sanchez and Tyler Kermy giving us a wave. There you go, Tyler Kermy, give us a wave. Got himself on the score sheet. Hey, Tyler, have you got anyone watching right now? Who's watching? Is anyone? All right, okay. If, uh, if Mrs. Kermy's watching, Tyler's got a goal for you already, and he's going to try and get some more for you in the second half. Now we are off and underway in this second half. And we are Satos is going to launch it forward. A little too far for uh, Ambrogio Di Pasquale. And our Borgetto lineup, we've got a uh, Simos in goal. Del Rosier, Del Rosier and uh, Brandon Silva. Sorry, Del Rosario, even. And Brandon, uh, Justin Silva. A centre back Pacheco and left back Ramirez, right back, Andrea Satos and uh, Mario Pio Di Pasquale in the middle. Gerardo Sanchez as the attacking midfielder. Tyler Kermi, left winger. Figuera, the uh, centre forward, and Ambrogio Di Pasquale as the centre forwards. And for uh, Sanz out, we've got Reza Matovic in goal, Menin Sekic, and uh, Lukovic as centre back. There's a Ferovic, right back, Mustafic, left back. Darko Drinkic and uh, Dasic in the centre midfield, along with uh, Persic. Alassar in the right wing. Persic, who's on the ball right now, as the centre forwards. And uh, Hodzic, who's already got a goal to his name in this game, out on that left side. Del Rosario, You're giving it into Andrea Satos. Nice work there, and out to Costan. Simos. And Borgetto getting those two goals in the last five minutes of that second half to really put themselves in a the commanding position. Andrea Satos looking in for Di Pasquale, but not a good pass. Dasic winning it back, and there's Drinkic. Di Pasquale. Except in that one. Gerardo Sanchez. Looking up long. Accepted by uh, Lukovic. Brodo Di Pasquale into Higuera. Gives out to Kermi. And Kermi looking to send that back across. Took a touch off of Dezaferovic. And we're going to have the first corner of the second half for Borgetto. Living in by Figuera. Trinkic getting the head on it. And uh, Lukovic completes the clearance. Back with uh, Andrea Satos. Didn't catch it. Oh, and uh, easy for Reza Matovic. And Sekic. Going out to Hodzic. Made in Sekic. Looking up for Perisic, but a little sloppy with the pass. Justin Silva into Pio. Kermi, he's got some space to drive forwards onto. Kermi, give back to Figuera. Set for Gerardo Sanchez, and that was a cute little dink in towards Kermi. Intercepted. Perisic into Dasic. And Dasic has a nice reverse ball. And Perisic's got Alassau in his right. Going back to Dasic. Out to Perisic. Trinkets into Dasic. And Alasawi is uh, the referee. Looked very carefully. 
at the line. End up judging he had gone off. Justin Silva to Ramirez, back to Silva. And Silva is a good ball into Palakami. Here's Figuera. Looking behind for Di Pasquale, who's onside. Smart feet by Di Pasquale, cut down to the byline. I couldn't find a blue shirt in the end. Back with Tyler Kermi and uh, Pio. Back to Kermi. Kermi whips that in towards the back post. Mustafic clears it, but it's going to fall back to Anvio Satos. And Anvio Satos has the shot. Mustafic in the way. And Anvio Satos again probably just wanted to catch that one with a little bit more power. Drinkic. Giving it to Sekic. But Hodzic not ready to receive it. And uh, Bojeto once again just dominating the possession. That was a big clash there. Trinkets into Perisic. To Mizet Perisic. He managed to escape one, but a lot of blue shirts around him whenever he gets to the centre forward at the moment. Brian and Silva. To Ramirez. Silva. Over the top, Medin Sekic will shepherd that one back and in the end forced to give away a corner. And Borgetto making another change. So Tyler Kermi making way for uh, Costan. by Ramirez, but Di Pasquale couldn't cut that one back. There is a Matovic, who will get us going in with a goal kick. Lukovic launching that one up, and uh, back again though, with Borgetto, Figuerera, cutting into the left. Rides past the Drinkic tack on, has the shot. Decently caught, but right at Rezmatovic. Then Sekic. Pushing forwards through the middle and he gives it in. Well, he's looking for a set, but it's come off the defender. That's a nice ball into Hozic. Uh, Ramirez just snuck in ahead. Drinkic has been brought down and he's uh, stayed down just for a second. I'm not sure if he got a kick. So there's going to be a Sanz out free kick. Helped up to his feet now. Dasic standing over this one. Let's see what he can deliver. And 
And he's hit that one in long and they're like queuing up but too close to Simos in goal. And Gerardo Sanchez with a sharp turn. Driving out that defence. Around Mustafic. Going out to Figuera and Figuera is going to try and bend that in himself. A comfortable catch for Reza Matovic. Out to Perisic. Into Drinkic. Closed down though, and uh, Del Rosario. Out to Ramirez. Back to Silva. And it's uh, fell into Di Pasquale, who turns sharply, looking to feed in his brother Ambrogio. Just closed down too quickly, though. And uh, Dasic. Alasawi. And he's onside this time, Alasawi. Throw on goal. Can he pull one back? Give it to Persic. And Persic. Persic had got in front of the ball, according to the referees. And they totally wasted that one. And Borgetto really should have pulled one back there. Oh, sorry, Sandak even should have pulled one back there on uh, Borgetto. They're escaping. Checker looking in for Di Pasquale, and it's with Pio Di Pasquale, and that's nicely worked. Ambrogio Di Pasquale, looking for it. Lukovic, strong in the tackle, and uh, it's gone out in the end. And uh, Lukovic and uh, Ambrogio Di Pasquale just having some off the ball for batting, and now uh, Justin Silva going in there, not happy with uh, Lukovic at all. Now calling over Di Pasquale and Lukovic, just having a word with them. And again, we'll finally get underway again. Lukovic putting his foot through that one. Come back to Gerardo Sanchez, and he caught that with some venom, but couldn't keep it down well over the bar in the end. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in to the YouTube channel. And if you are watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button. We've got so much more exciting soccer coming to you the rest of this spring and summer. If you were watching yesterday, we're seeing we did our first pro game, Long Island Rough Riders of the UWS and the USL2. We did both the men's and women's team games. We're going to have all of their home games for the rest of this season. We're going to have more Cosmopolitan League, lots of exciting youth games as well. So that sounds like your cup of tea and hit that subscribe button and we really appreciate your support as a costan coming down that right figure just couldn't bring it down awkward for rezamatovic you couldn't catch it lukovic clears it on the rebound drink it's looking for dasic perisic just getting ahead of there from gorado silva sanchez 
Dasic. Then crowded out. And Gerardo Silva will come back again with it. And he skipped around one tackle. Giving it out to Ambrogio Di Pasquale. Gerardo Sanchez. Moving back into Di Pasquale. And he's trying to get onto that right foot. Given to Pierre Di Pasquale, but Hodzic tracking back well. But it's back with Borgetto. And other than that, then that disallowed goal. Sounds like haven't really had a touch in Borgetto's half so far in this second half. Costan did well to keep that one in, but Staffett's going to get it again. Mustafa is still coming away with it. Justin Silva getting that ball back and Costan send that one in. Lukovic send it and uh, drink it out to Dezaferovic. Out to Medin Sekic. Up to Perisic. He's looking to find someone in behind. Couldn't. And Ferreira. We hit the hour mark of this game. With the leaders Borgetto ahead. And uh, try and find out what the Ukraine reserve result was. But Ukraine reserve are the ones second at the table. Sanzak a third. But if Ukraine dropped any points, then uh, Borgetto reserves probably seal the reserve title as well. The first team having already done so after Central Park Rangers drop points. Uh, Last night against Japan FC. And Dasic looking up long for Perisic. And it's fallen for Perisic. And he's going to hit it on his left foot. And he's not caught it well. Ferreira pleading his case to the referee there. He got shoved in the back. And Perisic really should have finished that. We've got the teenager Ramo Sekic coming on. Um, maybe those younger legs can deal with the suffocating heat a little bit better, but very difficult conditions no matter what your fitness level is. And uh, Perisic taking a breather. Ferreira up to P.O.D. Pasquale. Gerardo Sanchez looking for Ambrogio. And Ambrogio brought that down with his hand. The referee calling it back. Lukovic getting on, set on that one. Hit it back in by Costan though, and Ambrogio Di Pasquale is going to push into the box here. He's throwing a goal, and Reza Masovic getting off his line quickly enough to gather that one. And Ramos Sekic has moved into that centre midfield position. Looking long for Dasic. Dasic couldn't flick it on. He got stepped on though by uh, Brandon Silva. Oh, sorry, Justin Silva. A free kick. Drinkic out to Alasawi. And Dasic looking for that over the top. And referee blown that one and signs that player's not unhappy with that call. And it is difficult for the referee to be fair to him. No linesman for the reserve game. For the first team game, the linesman will show up. But very long pitch, Randall's Island. Mustafic. Looking to chip it down the line for first edge, but cannot find him.
Ah, it's Pereira. Looking over the top fan. Brojo Di Pasquale and he's through and Brojo. Flicking over Reza Matic and just over the bar as well. That would have been a special goal there. Trying to get a very clever lob. And not too far away the number 14. Melin Sekic. Sanzak are going to have to find a reserve of energy from somewhere, anywhere, in this stifling heat. If they're going to have any chance of coming back against this, against this very strong Pujeta reserve side. And Mustafic giving in to Dasic. Now to Dezaferovic. Back, and it's a loose by Dezaferovic. And here, Di Pasquale. Look over the give and go with Ferreira. And Medin Sekic was late on that one. And he's going to pick up a yellow card for that one. And he immediately held his hand up. He was late on that one, the Sands out veteran. And so Ferreira did it, a couple of feet over the bar. Habibi, you have to get rest, Habibi. Game out here, you have to play next game. Rest, stop, rest. Rest, stop, rest. No, no, it's a Habibi. Alessawi getting a rest. She's going to come on in this first team game. And Perisic coming onto that right side. Look at it, sending it up long. T Pascale winning that one. Costan into Gerardo Sanchez, who's looked very assured in the middle. Ferreira. And to dink it back into Gerardo Sanchez. Lukovic uh, heading it up in the air. And Rezmatovic has spilled it. And just about gathering it on the second attempt. Over the top of Perisic. And he's giving a good one to the substitute Perisic. And Merzik Perisic, continue going. Yeah, his feet were just loose there though. Del Rosario into Pio Di Pasquale. That's fair and uh, Ramirez. Uh, Silva. Gerardo Sanchez skips past that pass. Tackle with ease and uh, Ferreira just straight offside. Send it on, brought down. Gerardo Sanchez, back out to Pio Di Pasquale. Pass pushed him wide. Got Dezaferovic up against him. Coming back to Pacheco. Cut into Ambrogio Di Pasquale. And Ferreira, too casual there. And Dasic. Going to look to get that over the top for Perisic. Ferreira was alert to it though. 
And lovely touch there by Costanova. That's it. Good chasing back though. He's cut inside a Ferreira. And he's caught a bit late there and the referee not playing the advantage. Todic will uh, get this free kick. Todic's in there, along with the top and uh, too close though to the goalkeeper. And that one is uh, over the top. And it's going to be another water break. So we're halfway through this half. And really, really difficult conditions for the players out there. Guys, we'll be back in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. Uh, guys, I just want to give a shout out to some of the people in the c comments, especially uh, Doris Sanchez Castaño. Thank you very much uh, for the very kind uh, comment, Doris. We're, we're happy to be out here covering the game. Both these teams, really grateful they brought us in and it's been great following both Sanzac and Borgetto this season and looking forward to many more games seeing them. And we've got Diego Cinci as well. We'll see if we can get Del Rosario and Correa at the end. Since I might have a quick turnaround though with the first team game, just because this game has been delayed with the water breaks. As a uh, uh, underway again, and it's into Anvil Satos, and he looked to cut it back to Figueira and Perisic, who's back on loose with the pass and there. Uh, Here comes uh, Fuguera, looking for a cute flick into Andrea Satos. And Andrea Satos has got the head on it, and... Where's the matter of it? It felt like he had to watch it right until it shaved that crossbar. up to Perisic. Now that to Sekic. Oh. 
Seki's knocking it long. Costan intercepting. Lukovic. First to that ball. Costan knocking it, hopefully back to Andrea Satos. Medin Seki is clearing it back with Costan. Back to Ramirez. Now wants to switch cross field to Fugaria. And Fugaria's escaped from Dezaferovic. And he's pushing in towards the box. Three kicks coming on that secondary tackle. Pierre Di Pasquale back to Pacheco. And I think Pacheco is one of the only players who's made it through this whole game on the field. Played up to Dasic, and he's got Hodzic and uh, Sekic ahead of him. But it was a good pass by Dasic. And he holds his hands up. Kostan, just about keeping it in, but Men and Sekic winning back possession of the ball. And the veteran, he hasn't taken a break either, and he's showing great legs today. I think he's above over 40. It's impressive. Perisic, nice bit of footwork. Ramo Sekic, one on one with Del Rosario, and he's cutting down into the box. Still coming, Sekic. Just been held up by Del Rosario. Giving that back to Perisic. And he just lost a bit of momentum. And Dasic. Back to Perisic. Pacheco giving him a lot of space. Uh, so a really poor ball in though. They had lots and lots of time. To Pasquale. They're back and uh, accepted by Drinkic. Pio Di Pasquale not laying up and getting it back for Borgetto. And that ball's up to Gerardo Sanchez. He's got some space, Gerardo Sanchez. And <laughs> the very fancy flick up to Andrea Satos. Andrea Satos looking to set away Gerardo Sanchez. Again, too far with the pass though. And there's Matovic off his line. Justin Silva and here's uh, Costan. Ramirez. To Costan. And that is going to go out for a corner kick for Borgetto. And guys, just a reminder do not go anywhere after this game. At 4 pm, we're going to have the Borgetto first team, the newly crowned champions of the Division 2 Borgetto, facing off against Sanzac. And Sanzac, still in the hunt for the promotion spots, they've got a very difficult task against Borgetto. They've won every game of the season, but they're going to throw everything they can at them, you feel like. It's that corner to living in, and Rezimatovic has spilt it, and very fortunate, just bounced off of Lukovic's shins into his hands. To Zafarovic, into Todit, into Dasic even. Back to Dasic from uh, Drinkic. And Dasic looking over the top and Ramo Sekic chasing onto it. And his first touch is just brought it around him. He got around Simos. He went down looking for a penalty. Referee not blowing. And Pacheco completes the clearance. And Ramo Sekic very close to getting a goal back. For Sanzac, and they had, had a few chances. Crossed in by Pirisic, and it's bouncing around awkwardly and brought down by Hodzik. Point blank save by Simos, and it just will not go in for the Bosnians right now. Justin Silva bringing it away. And Ferreira was looking up for Ambrogio Di Pasquale, but 
Sekic intercepted it. Point black save from uh, Simos there. To the Ferovic, into Perisic. Oh, he's over hit there, and Ramos Sekic, so I think we'll just about keep that in. Still going Sekic, hitting that back post. And Honzik has absolutely clattered into Kostan. The referee waving play on. We're just going to stop it now. And uh, I think it's more Hosnick ran into Kostan than anything, but they maybe got a shoulder right in the chest. Rogetta making another change. And it's uh, Gerardo Sanchez coming off. Gerardo Sanchez putting a great display in that centre midfield. And uh, Mario Pio Di Pasquale back on. To And the referee actually is giving it, I think it sounds that like free kick. I suppose he was letting the play go on just to see if there'd be any advantage for Sanzac. De Rosario, not happy, but it's been given and it's right on the edge. See, uh, Dasic. Maybe I'll give this one an effort. Medin Sekic, the veteran, just pulling up with a calf issue. So Pirisic coming back on. And Amir Todic, uh, or even a, what is it, it's a Dasic standing over it. And Dasic steps up over the wall and just past the post. Sent it over and dipped it back beautifully. Just a fraction past the post, and it just has not been Sanzac's afternoon. So he must put his foot through that one. Perisic uh, clearing it out. Ramirez. That uh, Brandon Silver has come on. Perisic intercepting that one. But Ramirez watching it well. And a nice little spin. Free kick for uh, Borgetto. So we're giving it up to Justin Silva's brother, Del Rosario. Lovely. Little Maradona, and he fortunate to get caught by Drinkic there because he had uh, overhit that second touch just a little bit. And Brandon Silva up to Justin Silva. And Justin Silva's got some space to drive into, giving it out to Mario Pio Di Pasquale on his left, and he's hit the post. And so close to getting his second there, the skipper sent back in, and Lukovic clearing out that time. And Del Rosario feeling very aggrieved at that free kick call. How's it giving it into Dasic? Dasic driving forwards. Now he's got a clear run at this defence right now, and he's going to have a strike, Dasic. And he caught it decently right at Simos, fortunately for the goalkeeper. And Brandon Silva into Pio Di Pasquale. Ramirez. Back into Del Rosario. Perisic, he's got Sekic on the left. 
Nice bit here with uh, Dasic. Going out to Ramosekic. Sekic firing that one in. And it's gone wide. Ten minutes left in this reserve game. Figueroa giving it back into Pacheco. Pacheco into Del Rosario. Uh, Ambrosio Di Pasquale is looking for it and it's been sent through to him and he's through Di Pasquale and he's just slipped after that touch and uh, accidentally clattered into Reza Matovic. It's a good run by the 14. Splitting the Sanzac centre backs, well found by Del Rosario. Pujeta making another change. It's uh, Tyler Kami coming on. Look at this, up to Pirisic. And Del Rosario making this up very big and blocking that one. Ramos Sekic cleverly letting that full on and uh, obviously was looking to escape from Ramirez but uh, Brandon Silva covering in behind. Here Di Pasquale looking over the top for Fugueri and Fugueri has found it and he's already got one today and he's looking for the audacious lob just over. Reza Matovic was just backpedalling at full speed there not sure which side of the crossbar he was going to go. Out to Dezaferovic. But Amir Todic. Sorry, Dasic even. Dasic with a nice spin. And Dasic looks in for Piriset. And Piriset take it down. And he's gone for the lob. And that one has gone in. And that took long enough. But when it did finally come, an excellent finish by Piriset. Dasic sending it over the top. And Piriset's chesting it down and perfectly weighted lob over Simos and Sanzak have got about seven minutes left in this game so they can just find enough gas in the tank to press on the Borgetto defence Brandon Silva looking sent away. Andrios Satos. There's a Matovic gathering. And Lukovic. Going route one. Up to Dasic. Both in and Drinkic went for it. But it was uh, Kermi who ended up winning it. His second so. Out to Dasic. And Dasic looking for Pirisic again. And it's going to come to Hodzik on that far side. Hodzik's cut in. Holding his hand up, asking for a handball from the referee, not given. There's going to be a corner to Sanzak. And if that second goal by Sanzak, suddenly the dimension of this game has changed. And uh, Borgetto making another change. Brandon, or Justin Silva being sent on. And Figueroa coming out, it looks like uh, Justin Silva dropped into that Borgetto defence as well. Suddenly, their backs against the wall a bit. The league leaders. And a draw would give a... Uh, Ukraine reserves a chance to catch Borgetto. And that's dividend in by Dasic, but not a good delivery at all. Back to Rezimatovic. Everyone for Sanzak and Borgetto up around the penalty area. Rezimatovic sending it long. But well, that one's cleared out, and uh, Del Rosario is clear through and got it. So the referee has blown because there's a head injury. 
and Borgetto a little frustrated with that. I'm not sure who it is down there. So uh, Lukovic is down. Free or restart the drop ball. Just a couple of minutes left now. They're close, Borgetto. But there actually is the full time whistle, and Sanzak made a valiant late effort to come back. But it is Borgetto, the lead leaders who uh, maintain their first place spot. And guys, do not go anywhere. We have got the first teams, the uh, Division Two champions, Borgetto facing up against Sanzak, who are still in the promotion race, kicking off shortly. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back sh in a couple of minutes. Oh guys, I'm just going to capture, we've got a really nice little 
moment over there for Sanzac. And actually uh, got three Palestine messages and that's a lovely bit of support from the Sanzac community. And it's such a special community we've got. The Sanzac team. That's a nice moment. Guys, we're going to have the first teams up shortly.
Hello guys and we are back for our first teams of Borgetto FC against Sanzac in this roasting hot day. Uh, Borgetto actually crowned champions today, or actually last night when our Central Park Rangers dropped points against uh, Japan, Japan FC. So Borgetto the champions, uh, Sanzac however their season is very much still alive. They need to get three points, the Bosnians are going to have any chance of catching up on that promotion spot. You can see the table up there and uh, it's uh, going to be uh, a, 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 a tough team game for both teams with, with the, uh, the heat but let's see what kind of contest we have there's a lot of quality in the pitch and without further ado let's have a look at our Borgetto starting lineup and Borgetto is uh, led by coach uh, Ivo Mahorovic and the team manager is Benny Di Pasquale we have in goal Joseph Placetti the playmaker Jean Sebastian we have number five, Alex Ferreira. Number six, Jonathan uh, Figueroa. The centre forward, Marcelo Russo. Number eight, Brandon Silva. We saw a bit in the reserve game. May see him in this one. The poacher up front, Angelo Bordenka. Another poacher up front, Alejandro Canacati, the skipper. We have in the middle, Kevin Rodriguez, great playmaker. Jesus Patino, another very creative player. The gallivanting right back. Matthew Hess that covers every inch of the turf. Alexi Santa, the crafty playmaker. At the back, Matthias Adamak. They've got a super partnership with Tommy Speed. We have Jeffrey Glad, number 25. We have number 29, Luis Vera. In goal, 31, Sergio Peralta. We have uh, another uh, one of those very crafty midfielders, 32, Steven Fernandez. The winger, Chris Valverde, he loves whipping out the tricks and has got a, quite a whip on his cross. Tommy Speed, number 40, I mentioned, terrific partnership with Adamat, very hard to break down at the back. George Yusuf, a left back who also absolutely loves to pile at Fords. And finally we have Alejandro Bastidas, a Swiss army knife, really versatile player. And there is our Borgetto SC squad, the champions. Of Division 1, they will be joining Division 1 next season. Let's have a look at who are they up against. FC Sanzac. And Sanzac is led by uh, Camel Hot. They have in goal, Arslan Dasic. Number 2, Amir Hot. Number 3, Amir Bakovic. Florent Yuppa, who's been injured for a couple of games. We'll see if he's back today. We have Esmer Vushitovic, a very dangerous win winger. The Fox in the Box, Fero Durovic Savic. Got Harris Savic, who really such a focal point of that attack. Messi Sekic, who's been struggling with an ankle injury. We'll have to see if he makes it on the field today, but such a crucial man if he is there. Number 14, Sana Semanovic. We have Harris Orohabak. Mirza Hot, the big man at the back, the towering block. Menin Sekic, who we saw in the reserve game, probably won't see him in this first team game. Adil Selimovic. We have uh, Jimmy, the fullback, loves to get forwards. Azmir Vanovic, Darko Drinkic, who also in the reserve game. Alvin Sekic, who also got injured last week. Florent Papucci at the back, who played a terrific display, filling in at that centre back. And finally, the young man, Mirza Sabovic, who has really found his feet this season in the Sanzac midfield. And there is our Sanzac team, still just outside of that uh, promotion zone. Yeah, good see you, John Sebastian, good luck. The Sanzac team just outside of that promotion spot. And let's have a look back on the field now. We've got the Sanzac. Sanzac out on the field and it looks like uh, Bougetto will be in their yellow and black shirts today.
Okay. Alright guys, we're getting ready for that pre-match and the Sanzac have got the announcer today, which is very good news for the atmosphere. Bad news sometimes for me being heard, but we'll do the best we can. I'd say the announcer for Sanzac, he adds a lot. It's great having him out here. Just in the final match before this kickoff. Sanzac, a very depleted uh, Sanzac today. Missing a lot of players through injury, but they're going to put up a fight. They always do. We'll see who we've got in Borgetto today. Obviously, pressure off of the Italian team today, having won the league. But they want to give a good account of themselves, won every game this season, and I'm sure they'll be wanting to finish this league with a 100% record. Looks like for Sanzak, our starting lineup, we're going to have Dasic in goal, Amir Hot and Salimovic. Salimovic uh, at centre back, Ramo Sekic left back, Alasari right back, Mirza Sabovic, Papucci, and Makic in the middle. Jimmy as the right winger, Salmanovic the left winger, and Harris Sabovic in the line. So no. Messi Sekic. It's a big, big loss for them. And uh, it's like Mirza Hot also injured today. So a really de very depleted Bosnian team. Difficult, difficult circumstances for them. But they're going to make the best fight they can of it. And our Bozzetto starting to line up, it's uh, Sergio Peralta in goal. And missing the regular centre-back pairing of uh, Tommy Speed and uh, Matthias Adamak, it's going to be Brandon Silva and Alex Ferreira at the back. Also missing Hess, looks like... Uh, we've got our left-back, Vera. In the centre of midfield. We've got uh, Sergio Peralta, Kevin Rodriguez, and uh, looks like Alexis Santa. But the front three, the formidable Kanakati, leading the line, Bordenka on the right, Valverde on the left. As that one's sound long, and it's uh, Figueroa, who's the right back for Borgetto today. So missing three of their usual, well, in fact, that all their usual defensive line, Borgetto. Normally they'll have George Yusuf there. In that left back position. So that may just give a little window for Sanzac. Though, of course, as I said, they're so depleted from South State Sanzac, missing about eight players through injury.
And it's a roasting hot day, in case you weren't aware, in New York today. Mr. Savovic with his first touch in it. He's looking up for Makic, couldn't find him. It's Kanakati. And Kanakati switching it out to Valverde. And Valverde into Alexi Santa. And Valverde, someone who would love to make a mark on the game today. He's uh, normally finds himself not in the starting lineup, but he's got so much talent, the winger. And whenever he's come on, he does impress. And today is his chance to get that starting spot. And Bolgetto, of course, also going to be in the John Kilby Cup final. Uh, speaking with uh, Benny Di Pasquale at the moment about covering that one and really hope we can get that final. It was a fantastic semi final they had against Shamrock Borgetto. Here's uh, Papucci. Papucci playing further up in the field than where he normally would. Normally he sits back near the centre back, and uh, that's a good turn then. Harris Sabovic. We'll look for a second as if he's away, just offside. Makic turns sharp, but he's in a big frame. Makic, the number 18. And Kevin Rodriguez. Looking over the top for Valverde. Alasawi clearing it out and Selimovic couldn't bring it down though. Alexis Santa. To Jean Sebastian and lovely dancing feet once again for the number four. And we'll see plenty of that today. And in a sense, this weather really does favour Borgetto there, a team that is so good at keeping the ball. Those three in the middle. Fernandez, Santa and Kevin Rodriguez in particular can just pass it around the triangles all day and uh, may just be a case they can just gradually fatigue the Sanzac line up play out to Valverde Vera overlapping into Canacati or oh, sorry Santa even Jean Sebastian took a little bit too long on it that time and uh, oh, in the end the referee giving the free kick just uh, a little bit soft that one Sebastian delivering that one and he's hitting with some whip. Cleared up by Amir Hot. It's going to be the first corner of the game to Borgetto. And Santo will deliver it in. Sent in round the six yard box. Cuts ball for Dasic. And looks uh, for Harris Sabovic. Got Makic in the middle. Samanovic. Nicely worked there between Samanovic and Sabovic. Alasawi. First touch was heavy and uh, Valverde did get the ball, but the referee judging that he got too much of the man in the tackle. Pucci giving it in to Mirza Savovic. And that's a good little dink into Jimmy. And Jimmy's through and he can open the scoring. Saved by Sergio Peralta. Sergio Peralta just stood him up. Savovic, who put in such a nice ball there. Back with it. And he's twisted well, the young man. Coming in on his right foot and he's been brought down. And the referee doesn't give anything. And Kenakati now going to bring it in. And Santa is onside. Pushing through to the box, Santa. Amir Hot coming back, but Santa's still going. 
and a great tackle by Selimovic. Jimmy bringing it down. But Sanzak, one end, very nearly scoring and having a penalty shout, and then Borgetto going right at the other and having their own golden opportunity, but still level. Kevin Rodriguez looking over for Bordenka. And what can he do, the number nine, with it? He has got a sixth sense in the penalty box, Bordenka. Going back to Sergio Peralta. Ken Rodriguez. And he's going to drill that one in again, and it's a good ball. And Figueroa couldn't bring it down. And he's just to control it with his hand. And I tell you what, that. Mirza Savovic uh, penalty calls, want to watch back later. It did look like there was contact. And it's awkward, Amihok doing really well with that one. And Papucci. And out to Alasawi. Jimmy back to Alasawi. Now Asawi with a lovely ball in behind to Jimmy. And Jimmy looking across to Harris Samovic. And Alex Ferreira got a touch and there's a free kick anyway. But Sanzak looking dangerous at the moment. It's uh, Jimmy finding the space in behind. That one's sent out. It's a good ball out to Lamberti, but he's offside. <laughs> I'm hot, and that's sloppy from hot. And don't want to give it to Kanakati there, but here he is, the skipper. Going out to Valverde. Valverde back into Kanakati. And that's a nice little flick into Santa, but again. Santa just strain to an offside position. Oh yeah, 91 degrees down here on Randall's Island. Absolutely roasting. That's the one's given back to Dasic. Pucci out to Alasawi. Alasawi into Papucci. Before it's Alasawi. Just too slow on it, and Santa cutting in around two, and he's coming on that right foot, giving it out almost to Rodriguez. Ramosekic intercepting it well. Silamanovic looked to just let it run across his body. Rodriguez turning out well then, there's Brandon Silva. Vera to Valverde. Cutting the side and Alexis Santa. Papucci though, putting a good physical display and it's a little bit of afters off the ball between those two. And Papucci pushing forward with it now. Out to Harris Sabovic. Savic back into Papucci. Give that back to Samanovic. Samanovic, they're giving him a bit of time, Borgetto. Samanovic into Harisavic, back to Mirza Savic, and he's looking for the death flick into Makic. 
Well, she has to come away with it though. And here comes Kanakati, Valverde on the left. He's got Bordenka on the right. And he's looked in behind and Ramosekic has stepped up. But Bordenka has got plenty of space to drive down to the line. And he's going to cut in and go across the end. And he couldn't find a white shirt. And Sanzak escaped that one. The line disorganised in the offside trap. Bordenka very nearly punished them. Makic can it. Referee giving that one. And, uh, Rodriguez. Now to Santa. Trying to send it into Kanakati. And Bordenka is all alone with Ramos Sekic in quite a bit of space. Well, we to just be content to possess the ball right now. John Sebastian. Going to float that in towards Ferreira or Figueroa even, and it's fallen for Figueroa. Figueroa hit his hand. That's it, such a Papucci, and Papucci got some space. Figueroa charging back. Papucci keeping hold of it though. Harris giving it to Mirza. And Mirza Savage on side. Back into his brother Harris. And Brandon Silva came across. Kevin Rodriguez now bringing it out. And it's been a close affair so far this first 15 minutes. Borgetta having more of the possession, but both sides have fashioned out some good, clear opportunities. Neither one able to convert. Alexis Santa. Fernandez back to Santa. Good give and go between Kanakati and Santa. And Santa gives it back to Kanakati again. And it's about four passes between those two. And Santa tried to make it six and a decisive one. Intercepted though on that one. And Mirza Savovic getting an initial fit on there. Sean Sebastian looking to thread a needle through the Sanzac defence. Going to be a throw into to, uh, Borgetto. Alberti and here's uh, Santa. And the uh, Borgetto midfielder, sorry, the Santa midfielders have done well so far. Just uh, hold up. Borgetto and Samanovic so commits himself and Figueroa turns around him. Here's Bordenka. Trying to whip it in, Papucci got touching it, but it sent it back towards his own goal. Now just to recover it. And Harris Savovic. And he's taking it past Ferreira. And he's coming down the left side. Ferreira tracking back well again, though. And he's going caught there by Brandon Silva. And that was not a good tackle. And Harris Savovic doing good work on the left side. And it's going to be free kick. Makic will take this one and he's gone at a goal, caught it decently but straight out the keeper and Peralta gives that to Valverde. Santa on the left and looking over the top for him, just overhit to him though. Ramosekic, who's had a good run in the first team the last couple of games. The young man, only 17. 
and started as a reserve, but with, as the injuries have piled up, he's made the step up and uh, he's given a good account of himself in the games he's been on. Kanakati on the turn. Santa to Kevin Rodriguez. Now to Bordenka. Bordenka taking on Ramos Sekic and uh, that's a decent ball in the back post. Kanakati rose up just a half an inch too high for him though and he couldn't get over it. Sanzak going to make their first substitutions of the game. Durovic Savic coming on and Samanovic. Making way and uh, Durovic Savic on that left side. And Jimmy is going to look to find him. Intercepted by Brandon Silva. And Durovic Savic last week he got a goal. Well, maybe even two weeks ago, sorry. Got a goal for uh, Sanzak. Mack, it's just let that one go a little bit loose and it's cleared out. And Valverde. Capucci got too much of his shirt and a free kick given on him. There is uh, Santa. Kanakati and Sir Selimovic this time. Too hard on the press. Going to be a Borgetto free kick. And that one's uh, delivered in. Papucci got on that one first and then uh, Bodenka caught him. Free kick to... Sanzak and Papucci just got caught a bit on the ankle there. And Sanzak, they were on a good run, the bosses, up until the last two games where it dropped points against Bloc Espanol and uh, managed to get a draw against Ukrainians, which they probably did well in that one because they were so depleted again with injuries. Bloc Espanol, though, was a tough one, obviously. They had that late goal disallowed offside, they're very unhappy about, and it did look in the replays as if. It was an outside goal, but those drop points have uh, put them right on the fringes in the playoff race, and they really do have to beat the league winners today, Borgetto, if they're going to have any chance of uh, catching Japan or Central Park Rangers. And uh, yesterday, Central Park Rangers lost 2 0 to Japan, which just make it, which just secured uh, Japan's spot in the playoffs. But Central Park Rangers still up for grabs, and uh, Makic. Getting crowded out. He slipped there, Kevin Rodriguez, but Santa bring it and he's cut it into Kanakati. And Kanakati takes it first time. It's a snapshot. Just had to poke at it. To Harris, Sabovic. Miz Savic does well there, gives it into Makic. And Makic, clever flick out to Dura Savic. He's giving it back into Miz Savic and he's through Savic. Trying to get past Vera and shot in the near post. Did well to fashion out the chance there, Miz. And he's looked dangerous so far. Just lacked the power behind the shot, but did well to create the half yard for it. But Valverde is coming down the other and tormenting Asawi. And he drew Asawi in for tackle and went down too easily for the referee. Nothing given. Mr. 
Amir as we hit the 13 minute mark in this uh, first half. With Sanzak actually surprisingly looking the more dangerous team in this game against uh, the champions Borgetto. So they just overplayed it there. Here's uh, Jean Sebastian. Out to Valverde. Vera. Jean Sebastian. Tanakati. And Valverde, he's found a bit of space out there. Goes into Bordenka and Kanakati's looking in from behind and he's received it. Looked to feed it back across its yard box, but Selimovic closed down well. And Borgetta maybe just lacking just a little bit of the temper they normally have, which would be understandable given the heat. But they were threatening there for a second. Valverde will take this corner. Whipped in and uh, Jimmy got flicking it, but Denka brings it down and uh, onto Sekic's thigh. And Harris Sabovic will bring this one out. Just uh, Durovic Savic ahead of him right now. Give it to Mirza. And Mirza looking for Ferro Savic. Uh, he uh, got himself on side. The flag immediately went up. And Ramo Sekic looking for a crossfield pass to Jimmy. And Jimmy just got a hand on the back of Vera's shoulder. I think he was hoping that it would escape the referee's attention. It did not. Valverde gives it into Santa. Santa in a Kanakati. And Jean Sebastian looks in for Bordenka. And Bordenka. Getting a free kick there, he appealed to the linesman and Ramo Sekic had a tug. Well, Denka and uh, Sekic, a little lucky to escape with that yellow card there. That's right at the edge of the box. Well, Denka was through. Well, was Jetta going to have a free kick in a very good spot? Kanakati and Jean Sebastian standing over it. Santa, too. Take your pick. All of them can hit it. Kanakati steps up over the wall, but over the bar as well. And guys, just remind you, this is not the only cosmopolitan action we're going to have today. We're also going to have, after this game, Missil FC facing off against Blocker uh, Espanol. That's going to be a. Uh, 6 p.m. the reserve team and then the first team kicking off at 8 p.m. So stay tuned for that after this game. And uh, Durovic Savic has moved into the centre forward position now and Harris out on the left. And Harris just got a little budge in the back by uh, John Sebastian. It's going to be a free kick for Sanzak. Mirza Sabovic. And he's looked in behind for Jimmy and it uh, wasn't a bad look. He's got the angles a little wrong on the actual execution. And Valverde bringing it forward. And it's a good ball into Santa. Kanakati had found a gap between Amir Hot and uh, Sekic there. Wasn't found though. And Santa, lovely feet. Alasawi gets it back though. And Alasawi driving away, and uh, he's going to look in behind for Durovic Savic. Send on brought down by Makic. Brandon Silva stepping up to that one. 
Santa giving it back to the centre back Silva, who's kept adventuring forwards. Free kick, uh, throwing even to Borgetto. So we're giving it back to Jean Sebastian. Jean Sebastian angling uh, for the crossfield pass, intercepted by only as far as Valverde. Valverde to Bordenka. Bordenka escaped uh, Sekic. Dink it in towards the back post, but gone behind the crossbar, out for a goal kick. Bordenka giving it back to Figueroa. Jean Sebastian looking in for Kanakati. Kanakati turning onto that left foot and decent snapshot. But Dasic across his goal quickly. Ten minutes left in this first half. Harris Sabovic. Figueroa just standing him up. And winning back by Papucci. Couldn't escape Jean Sebastian. But he's got it again, Papucci. You know, to Harris Sabovic. Into Mirza. And Jimmy. He's found a little gap. And uh, Jimmy uh, just offside again. In the linesman view, at least, I have to say, some of these you just want to watch back again and VAR them. Um, maybe one day in the Cosmopolitan League. Because uh, Ferreira, though, going out to Valverde. And Valverde is looking for Rodriguez. Nice feet there by the big man Makic. And the ball almost screwed its way through to Durovic Savic. It's back with Peralta, and that is a little short from Peralta and Durovic Savovic winning it back. He's got Jimmy moving up to the middle, Harris Savovic to the back post, and he sends it in towards Jimmy, and it's fallen to Jimmy! And it's another save by Peralta, and Jimmy twice has been denied by Sergio Peralta. And he looks ruefully over Jimmy in uh, Peralta's direction, twice his denier. Ramos Sekic intercepting that one. And good ball down to Jurovic Savic. And he's on side, Savic. And Savic has taken the audacious toe poke. I think he's Sergio Peralta. There's a little off angle. Cheeky effort. And Jurovic Savic. Asking to be subbed off now. I don't know if he's. I think he's hurt himself, Sabovic. And John Sebastian. Going out to Ramos Sekic. Uh, Drovic Sabovic. Harris looking up ahead of him. Drovic Sabovic leaping, limping on. Overran it that time though. Now uh, pinning for a free kick from the referee, nothing given, and here's Kevin Rodriguez. Lost his footing and Borgetto looking a little bit off colour at the moment so far. And Ramos Sekic looking behind and Jimmy is through again. And surely this time Jimmy! And he's put Sanzak ahead! And Jimmy, third time lucky! And we got Jurovic Savovic! Down there. And Jimmy, on the third time asking, finishes it and nothing less than Sanzak I deserved. And it is a surprising lead, you have to say, given the two records going into this. But Sanzak have really put a lot of the spirit in, especially given how many players they have out injured.
And they have scored first blood, the Bosnians. And here's Kanakati looking to make something happen. Twisting and turning, but he got a little clip. Nice heels, and they're going to have a free kick. Paul Jetto, you've got about five minutes left before that. No, we'll get next up. Next one. And the Borgetto set piece specialist standing over it again. We've got Jean Sebastian this time looking the most likely to take it. Whips it over the wall, but again, over the bar. Sent up long. Mirza Savic, who's been so creative for them, flicking onto Harris. And Harris is looking out for Jimmy. And of course, Jimmy, normally a player that's playing right back, he gets plays that normally a right back. He pushed up very far forwards. Uh, and there's a lot of those games as a right back. And I guess finally given his chance to really be where he wants to be on the field. And lovely feet there by Jean Sebastian. So casual. And uh, Manovic has come on the right side. Podurovic Savic. Vera into Santa. Santa skipping past Papucci. Uh, Papucci has been in a great combative display in that centre midfield. Escaping away from Santa. And Papucci absolutely cleaning out the ball there. And I uh, have to say, Papucci has been one of the players this season, in my opinion, for Sanzac. Uh, he really has played all over. He's came into the side as a full-back last week. He moved into centre-back and put in a very solid display against a good Ukrainian attacking line. And now, thus far, this game's put in a great shift in the centre of field for Sanzak. Very reliable player. And that one hit a uh, Borgetto hand. And uh, five minutes left in this first half. With Sanzak ahead, thanks to a Jimmy goal. And we've got... Shout out to Jonathan De Luca watching. And uh, Jonathan, uh, the father of uh, Davin and Myla, Davin's team, Bianca Neri, who live streamed this morning. And uh, Myla's team, I should really, if I was responsible, be coaching. But the Arsenal, I heard, got a 6 3 win today. So well done to the Arsenal girls. And Vera pulling it forwards as Borgetto looking to pull one back. Lexi Santa lost the ball and uh, Makic. Nice feet and he's got very good technical ability for a big man Makic and it's given out to Jimmy. And Jimmy looking in for Harry Savovic and Sergio Perotto read it really well off his line. Kevin Rodriguez out to Vera. Santos looking to slip in Valverde, but no such luck. And Ramos Sekic to Papucci. Samanovic. That to Papucci. Makic. Arta Samanovic. Samanovic giving in to Mirza Sabovic. And, and to Harris. Jimmy in acres of space on that right. It's found its way to Mirza though. 
and he does get find out to Jimmy, and Jimmy sending in towards Harris. Vera getting an important touch on it, and Brandon Silva up to Kanakati. Samanovic trying to catch him, but Kanakati doing really well then. He skipped past Alasawi as well. Valverde on his left, gives out to Valverde. John Sebastian ghosting up on that right side and is found. And looking in for Bodenka. But Samanovic, Salimovic, has done good work in that centre back position so far, blocking it out. A few minutes left on the clock. So Manovic, and it's given to Makic, and Makic is one-on-one -on -one with Vera, all by himself. A lot of tired legs out there, just waiting for that half-time whistle. Couldn't beat all those defenders. Silva giving it out to Valverde. Valverde giving it in behind to Bodenka, and Bodenka wriggling around, played it into the back post, and just a fraction too far for Santa. And it may have actually been a Sanzak player that got the last touch on that. The Borgetto players certainly feeling aggrieved that a goal kick was given. Everyone just ready, I think, for that half time whistle. It's uh, Papucci down right now. It's just such a hot day. up now Papucci but looking very very red and you can understand it's covered a lot of the pitch and it is just so so hot out there. Borgetto making a change and Tyler Kermi coming on. Vera making way. Dasic, up to Ivanovic. Oh, sorry, Makic even. Makic out to Harris Savovic. Just a moment or two left in this first half. Harris Savovic going back to Makic. He looked in behind for Harris and Makic. Tried to pressure John Sebastian, but John Sebastian turning out and Bastidas has also come on into the centre of the field. Come on, giving it to Valverde. Valverde into Bastidas. Who uh, came on for Kevin Rodriguez. We also have uh, Marcelo Russo. There as well. Just run away from Figueroa. It's like uh, Valverde has dropped back into that centre midfield three, and uh, Russo joined the front three. The last time we saw Borgetto was Russo who converted that penalty against Shamrock in the semi final so coolly. Tyler Kermi. It's a long bet. Loose pass. Amir Hot. Up to Mirza Sabovic. And Mirza Sabovic doing excellently to ride those tackles. He's still surrounded. And Mirza Sabovic showing some real maturity there, the young man, just to ride all those tackles and keep his head. And he's got Sanzaka free kick. Makic looking up long for Harris Sabovic. 
And Harris is going to keep this one, and I think just about, yep. Figueroa containing the danger, though. And giving it to Jean Sebastian. Bastidas. Now to Valverde. Who Alessari has kept pretty quiet thus far, but he always carries the threat of Valverde. He's so good in the 1v1s. And there is a good pass out to Russo. Russo giving it back to Valverde. And he's taking it onto his right foot. He's going to have to strike Valverde. And cannoned off of Amir Hot. And that was really well struck by Valverde. Amir Hot barely flinched, though. Harris Tavovic, and I think they just want that half time whistle. Everyone in that field. And lovely feet there by Makic. Oh, and uh, Jean Sebastian has gone in very hard late on Makic. And he's got a yellow cough for that one. I think a little bit late, lucky there not to get a little more than that. Son Sebastian, I think he knew what he was doing. And Makic, I think he ba baited John Sebastian a little bit with that, that trick he did before. And, uh, so Sebastian went in hard in the second time. Makic sending it up long back. Couldn't find anyone. And uh, Dorovic Savic coming back on. Uh, Samanovic coming back off again. Those two just rotating. I think both of them maybe a little bit walking wounded. Uh, as I said, Sanjak so depleted for this game. They don't have really any depth on the bench. I think uh, they've only got the one sub today. Sebastian. Thanks. Out to Valverde. Now Papucci back to Dasic. Here to Ramo Sekic. Amir Hot. To Mirza Sabovic. And Harris Sabovic. Back into Mirza. And Mirza looking to slip in. Jurovic Savic. Brandon Silva just doing enough there. And here's uh, Kermi. Valverde, lovely there to get past uh, Alasari, but couldn't find Bastidas in the middle. Jimmy tracking back and Makic couldn't keep that ball in. Bastidas back to Kermi. Just getting caught by Jurovic Savic and Makic. Just uh, trying to do too much there, Makic. Maybe just needing to remember that they're only 1 0 up right now, Sanzak, and they are facing a very good team. They're not on form at the moment, Borgetto, today, but there's lots of time left, and when Borgetto hit the gear, there's very few teams that can stop them. And Makic again, just slow to that. And Tyler Kermi, hungry for it. Given in to Russo. Savic winning it. And he's looked long out for Harris Savic. And Harris Savic is going to chase it. Sergio Peralta watching that one well. Jurovic Savic trying to chase that down. Ferreira doing really well to hold him off, though. Didas out to Pereira. And there is the half-time whistle with Sanzak ahead. 
Jimmy having three good chances in that first half and putting away the third one. But Borgetto, the, the, who uh, won the league last night thanks to Central Park Rangers dropping points. The newly crowned champions looking uh, off colour so far in the game, missing a couple of big players. But they definitely are going to want to improve on that in the second half. And uh, do not go anywhere, guys. We'll be back shortly.
All right, guys, and welcome back to the second half. It is Borgetto who are chasing the game. Uh, unfamiliar territory for the champions. Jimmy being the one who's got the, the goal in this first half. And uh, we're off and underway for the second half. And uh, Borgetto in the white. Looking to get back level in this game. And if Sanzac do win this game, we have got an incredible final weekend set up for you. Sanzac will be within touching distance of Central Park Rangers who are in third place, which is the last playoff promotion spot. And Sanzac can beat Central Park Rangers on that final day. They will overtake them up and move into that third place. A good tackle there by Darko Drinkits, and it's Darko Drinkits who's uh, come on. It's like Ramo Sekic. I see a Drinkits has come on for. He's, uh, he's come on for Jurovic Savic. Drinkic. And here comes uh, Amir Hot. Looking up for Makic. It looks like Makic has moved into that centre forward position. Harris uh, Savic also is out on that left wing. John Sebastian. And be interested to see how Mugetto react to this. They are just a little bit flat by their high standards in that first half. And Kermi giving it into Bastidas. Brandon Silva. Uh, Jean Sebastian. Bastidas pushing forward into Russo and Kanakati. It's like Russo has moved into the centre forward position. Kermi into Jean Sebastian. Jean Sebastian to Russo. Kermi into. Russo, Jean Sebastian looking to find uh, Ferrero, moved up, but Ramos Sekic easily cutting that one out. Harris Sabovic going back to Ramos Sekic, who just puts his foot up, looking to find Makic. John Sebastian looking to set away Russo, just a little bit far ahead of him. Ramo Sekic sending that one up long. John Sebastian back with it. Darko Drinkic not letting him just sit with it. And asking for a handball, the referee not giving it. John Sebastian wriggling and turning and giving it to Kanakati. Ferreira's looking up long, but Ramosekic cuts out again. And uh, Papucci switching it out to uh, Jimmy, the goal scorer. Jimmy coming in at Tyler Kermy. And the tussle is going on, and Tyler. Kermi in the end, she's been forced to put it out for a throw in. And Alasawi will take the throw. Mirza Sabovic just clipped the back of uh, Ferreira. But Mirza Sabovic, so I said, someone who has gradually eased, been eased into the first team over the course of the season, but has moved from being a 
fringe player into starting role as the season has progressed and he really has had to step up these last few games with uh, Ahmed Todic out as well as in the centre midfield, not to mention all the others in other positions, Messi, Sekic, uh, Mes Kodjic and uh, he's really stepped up today. Savic and Alasawi, another one up from the reserves who's looked solid there, that right back. Sebastian taking too long and Papucci winning it back and looking to get past Kermi. Papucci just pushing a little bit too much on Kermi. Tida sending that one forward. Bravo. Salimovic reading that one. Kanakati, the skipper, bring it down. And the referee got in the way of that, and he's going to restart with a drop ball and probably give it back to Bojeta. That was going out to Valverde. And the ball does restart with Kanakati. Brandon Silva to Alex Ferreira. And uh, Jean Sebastian. Jean Sebastian just asking Jimmy to come and get, get it. And it's a, a little like uh, watching a medieval duel right now. Jean Sebastian got caught late by Jimmy. And I have to say, he did bait that in a little bit. And Jimmy lost his head. And Ken hot just pleading with Jimmy to keep his head. Unnecessary yellow card. Second yellow card of the game. Sean Sebastian as well, so he got the first one. That's the ball looking in behind for Russo. Couldn't find a target. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. And if you are watching on the YouTube, hit the subscribe button. We have got so much more exciting soccer coming to you the rest of this spring season and summer. If you were watching last night, you would have seen we had uh, our first uh, pro games. Uh, the Long Island Rough Riders women's and men's team. The women's in the UWS and the men's in the USL2. And we're going to have all of the Rough Rider home games this season, as well as more Cosmopolitan League, some very exciting youth teams as well. So subscribe for that and more. And John Sebastian surrounded and just getting clipped at from all sides. Referee blowing the whistle in the end. Just looking long there, Brand Silva for Russo. And Russo has brought it down. Salimovic blocked it. The Borgetto appealing for the hand, not given. And uh, Drinkic up to Jimmy. And it's still off the ball going on there between uh, Salimovic and Russo. And they're head to head. And uh, now Russo coming back in at Salimovic again. And it's getting a little heated. The referee going over just to talk with his linesman to work out what exactly went on. And he's going to dish out a card to someone or other. Russo is probably going to get one, and maybe Salimovic too. And he is Salimovic is getting one. And uh, Russo, who's going to get the other? Everybody 
you know, some of the more experienced members of the Sanzac community just appealing to everyone to keep cool heads. And the plays resume now. Harris Sabovic. We're back to Ramo Sekic. You good? You can see John. They're not in the way. They're good here. Okay, good. Yeah. At uh, Tyler Kami. Valverde. And good just to see that play going again. There's a pretty lengthy stoppage. Papucci loose there to Mirza Sabovic and Jean Sebastian flicking it to Russo. And Russo turning. He's still going forward to Russo and that's going to be a free kick. Papucci couldn't really get out of the way, but he did obstruct Russo. And this is going to be a free kick in a good spot for Borgetto. Right on the edge of the box. Six men in that Sanzac wall. Jean Sebastian will take it again. They've had a couple in good positions, Borgetto. They've all of them gone over the bar so far. Is this the one? Jean Sebastian sets up over the wall and just past the post. Hot put his foot through that one. And Drinkish was looking for the very ambitious lob of Sergio Peralta from about 60 yards. Uh, gone up for a throw in the end. John Sebastian. Pereira out to Kermi. Kermi into Russo. Nice split by Russo and Bordenka trying to escape from Amir Hot. He's still going, Bordenka, and he's been brought down again. And Sanzak had given another free kick away in a dangerous spot. And they've got to stop conceding these because uh, Borgetto will punish them eventually. Skipper Kanakati standing over that, this one. Sean Sebastian there as well. It looks like it will be Kanakati. And that one right into the wall. And uh, Harris Savovic gets it partially out. Slimovic completes the clearance. Brandon Silva doing well with it there. That one's long, Alasawi though, with a good interception. Uh, it was a soft one, a little harsh on Alasawi. He did go in with some weight, but he got the ball first. But the, they need to wake up, Sands. That play going on. Referee calling it back though. Uh, 
That's Didas. Get it to Jean Sebastian. Out to Valverde. Valverde cutting into his right foot. Sanzak still doing well at the moment to keep it compact. Selimovic, so that was a poor clearance. Kanakati out to Russo. Russo cutting in. Ramosekic having to watch him carefully, but Russo's got away from him. Sent back across the box. Amir Hot getting it away and Mr. Savic again clearing it out, but all Borgetto right now. And we're just approaching that hour mark in this game. Sanzak ahead. Uh, right now, Borgetto pushing hard for that equaliser. And there hasn't been a game this season where Borgetto hasn't scored. And Valverde going into Bastidas. In fact, there hasn't been a game in which Borgetto hasn't won. Bastidas caught that decently. Took a little nick off of Jimmy. And it'll be a corner for Borgetto. Valverde will deliver this one in. Everyone back for Sanzak except for Makic. Valverde sends it in and they're all leaping up. I think it was Figueroa in the end who got his head on it and he really should have equalised there and he knows that free header and it's gone past the post. And a let off for uh, Sanzak. Mr. Yeah. Savage was looking and buying for Jimmy, but weren't the same wavelength. And Borgetto continuing just to have all of the ball in the second half. Brandon Silva up to Figueroa. Kanakati has dropped deep into that mid three. Out to Bordenka. Bordenka back into Kanakati. Russo taking it over. Kanakati still going in the middle. Russo flicking it in. And Alasawi just having to put that out for another corner. Bajetto really have Sanzak on the ropes right now. And as I said, Bajetto, champions of Division 2. That's mathematically guaranteed now they've won the league. But Sanzak, if they win this game, they're still in with a chance to get promoted. They would go in against Central Park Rangers, who are ahead of them in that promotion spot. And if they could beat Central Park Rangers, they would get their spot. But they've got to hold on against the champions. John Sebastian sending it in towards the back post, but too close to Dasic, who comfortably gathers that one. That's it, sending it up long. Jimmy has brought it down. He hasn't seen too much of the ball, Jimmy, in the second half. Jimmy into Mirza Sabovic. Mirza looking back in for Jimmy. And Jimmy's on side, and Harris Sabovic is in space. Looks to cut it back to Harris, but Sergio Peralta intercepts it. And they're looking over the top of there for Russo. Over here, and Dasic gathering. Amir Hot looking direct for Harris Sabovic. Couldn't find him, and uh, Papucci back with it. And he's been brought down there. And uh, just a nice little chance for. Sounds like to relieve a little pressure. Oh, 
Hakic just drilled that one. Mr. Savic is going to carry that. And uh, went down too easily for the referee. And Valverde will bring it away. Darko Drinkic coming over to cover the space. Valverde skips around him easily. And he's still going, Valverde. Going to Kevin Rodriguez, who's just come on. Bordenka on his right, and it's kind of catchy made way. And here is uh, Bordenka trying to get past Ramo Sekic and fired it across the box. Amir Hot blocking it. It's going to be another corner for Borgetto. Kevin Rodriguez will deliver this one in. He's got seven white shirts to aim for up in there. Everyone back for Sanzak as they look to hold on to this lead. Delivering that near post and uh, cleared out the front. Back with Valverde. Valverde shoots and it's deflected. And uh, linesman's flag is up. The linesman flagging something. And the referee's going to go over and uh, try and establish what the flag was for. And let's see what his linesman has to say to him. And uh, looks like a free kick given for Sanzak. And Sanzak making a pair of changes. And uh, Darko Drinkic coming off and uh, Harris Sabovic as well. So Manovic coming into the centre field and Harris Savovic making way in the centre forward position with Ferro Durovic Savovic. And I tell you what, I would fancy Durovic Savovic to get one. He's so good at crafting something out of nothing. And if he could get a second goal for Sanzak, just give them some breathing room. Yo. Kevin Rodriguez pushing forward with it and he's uh, dinking in Selimovic took awkward clearance and thankfully not too much power behind it and Tassic's just giving him an earful for that one but thankfully just uh, came back to his hands and uh, Luis Ferres come on the right back position for uh, Borgetto. Duro Savage. Can I keep that one in? Just ask for a little bit of body. Launched down the line by Brandon Silva, but back with Dasic. About 20 minutes. 25 minutes left in this second half. And if Sanzak could hold on, what a famous win this would be, regardless of if they make the promotion spot so, so well. If they were the team that beat, the only team to beat Borgetto and the unstoppable winning streak that Borgetto have had in this Cosmopolitan Division 2. Just to remind us they're human, that would be quite an achievement for Sanzak to boast about. This is a Borgetto team that is missing a couple of players in defence. Also a team that beat the Shamrocks comfortably 2-0 in the Kielby Cup. And as I said, we're hoping to stream that game on the weekend of the 13th. And that's going to be, I believe, a Manhattan Celtic. So Manovic getting a yellow card there for that tackle on Vera. And it's taken quickly, the referee calling it back, just because he's got a right in his notebook, the most recent addition to it.
Brandon Silva to take this one. Sent in long. And Ramos Sekic's got his head on that one. Alexis Sanz says, whipping that one in, and uh, Makic and Papucci went for the same ball. That's another corner for Borgetto. Rodriguez will send this one in, and there's been so many corners for Borgetto in the second half. And that was taken at the near post by Bodenka, but his bouncing was difficult. I feel they can believe it's possible. This shock result, Sanzak. And guys, just a reminder, do not go anywhere. After this game, we are going to have Missy LFC against Block Espanol. The reserves are going to be at 6 p.m. And at 8 p.m., we will have the first teams. Missy LFC probably out of the promotion race at this point. If they got a win, they would have a long shot if the results went their way. But Missile, an absolutely prolific team, and every game we have watched them has been a real attacking feast for the eyes. Alasawi cutting that one out well. Get it to Valverde. Back to Bastidas. Kevin Rodriguez gives it to Vera. Vera's got plenty of space and he's going to send that in. And Salimovic with a critical touch there. Took it off with a toe of Vera. And then the flag was up anyway for an offside. Well, I may actually, the goal kick taking the last touch maybe off of uh, the Borgetto player. Well, there is Amir Hot putting his foot for it. And uh, Jerev Savage has won that back. And he's looked to skip past two tackles, couldn't. And Valverde does well to get it to Santa. Selimovic, who's uh, done a really good shift at centre back. Selimovic forcing them backwards. Vera on the right side. To Russo and uh, Russo cutting in on that left foot and he's had the strike and that was not far away and uh, what we saw Russo hit an absolutely spectacular strike again Eintracht with that left foot They're not on target that time 15 minutes left Uh, Durovic Savic making way, Harris coming back on. Hot put his foot through that one, he slipped as he took it. And Valverde will bring down into Santa. Santa looking to flick onto Russo. But Amir Hot intercepting that one. Bastidas coming away with it. And it's a nice give and go, and Bastidas is still going in. Down to the six yard box. And Dasic at the near post gathering it. And Papucci up to Samanovic. And he's caught late there, Papucci. Play going on. Mr. Samovic. And the referee finally calling play back. Papucci holding his head. He 
Still damn Papucci. Not sure. Well, it's actually Dasik just pouring some water over his head, hoping that will help. And he's up on his feet now, Papucci. Maybe got a whack on his nose, that's what he seems to be holding. And uh, Sanzak faithful, trying to just be that 12th man for Sanzak. Uh, they go into about 10 minutes left against the champions in what would be such a famous victory. And could well be the win that propels them into the promotion playoff spot. Samovic going back to Alasawi. And Alasawi looking long over the top for Harris. It's going to fall back for Samanovic and Brugetto just looking a little open. Samanovic pushing through and he can see it for Samanovic and he's put it in! And Sanzak has a second! And they are so close to what will be a famous victory! And what a moment for Samanovic! And what a moment for the Bosnian club! And what a result this will be for Sanzak. Samanovic with nerves of steel and he's taking a substitute off of that after that massive run. But Sanzak have their breathing space. And it really just came out of nothing. Poggetto has been all over their second half. Harris Savovic putting enough pressure on the Poggetto defence to make the error and Samanovic seized upon it like a panther. And Borgetto, this is very unfamiliar territory for the champions. Two goals behind with 10 minutes left and it's going to take something really special for them to pull it back now. And now Sanza, as I said, they are moving within a few points of Central Park Rangers who they were going to play on the final day of the season. We will be covering that match. And if, and if Sanzak can beat Central Park Rangers, they will have stolen a spot in the playoffs right at the death. That one's cleared out. And Pacheco's come on. He played all the reserve game. A lot of uh, stress on the legs. Santa coming in, see if he can make something happen. Giving it out to Russo. Russo cutting in on that left, but Papucci clovered well. And he got caught late, and the referee's going to call that one for Papucci. What a result this could be for Sanzak. So, as I said, they're so depleted, Sanzak. They've got about six starters missing. Borgetto, to be fair, as well, missing that whole back line. But Sanzak really came into this game walking wounded. And they've shown such spirit. And the players who have come in have really stepped up. And they are so close to the famous victory. 
It's going to be another Sanzat throw. And you could forgive Borja to also for taking, they haven't played as well as they normally can. You could forgive them, they have been so strong this whole season. So they have an off day, even the best do. That one's sent up long. And uh, Ramo Sekic, the teenager. Another throw in. And we have about five minutes left of regulation time. Probably have some added time for the stoppages. Harisavich, so win that. And uh, Savovic has gone down in the area. And referee not interested. Play waved on. And that second time Savic has looked for a penalty. Here's a Pacheco. Gives it into Santa. And Papucci. Pressing in hard. Rodriguez. Into Bastidas. And Bastidas back to Rodriguez. Kanakati looking for a death flick. And Santa's moving in. Forced out wide. Bastidas with a clever touch. And he's still coming. Bastidas and uh, it's a free kick for Sanz out there. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, uh, Ms. Lowe. Thank you for uh, Rick. And guys, uh, we will have the Missy LFC game right after this. It's going to be a 6 p.m. for the reserves, 8 p.m. for the first teams. We may just miss the first few minutes, depending on when that kick game kicks off. Just because we want to make sure we catch to the end of uh, this clash. But do not worry, we literally you can see the missile players warming up behind there in the green tops. Well, that might be Block Espanol actually, but they're just in the adjacent pitch. So as soon as we're done with this, we're going to race over. <laughs> Giving it to Tristan Kermi. To Pacheco. Santa just got a half yard. Papucci with a super tackle. And Darko Drinkic looking on for Papucci. And Papucci with acrobatic clearance. Put everything on the line today, Papucci, first team. to Brandon Silva, Santa, Trinkets cuts that one out and Harasavovic back to Jimmy, here's Sabovic, just a little bit loose from Mirza though, Kevin Rodriguez looking up long, Alasawi getting up and Jimmy coming away with it and he looked to stay away Sabovic, just so it wasn't on the same wavelength, given back to the goalkeeper. Brandon Silva. Out to Vera. Just a few minutes left. I don't have any right now, but maybe later I'm gonna have some more. I'm gonna sell them. So, <laughs> Kanakati coming forward, and Kanakati's gonna hit that one, and he really caught a hold of that. And Drinkic was rooted to the spot and bellowing at his defenders, who gave Kanakati a bit too much space there. He very nearly punished. A uh, linesman. How much time left? Five minutes. Five. minutes. Five, all right. We've got five minutes left on the clock. Kemal Hot just trying to urge his team on. And Dasic and uh, the goalkeeper are just trying to urge their team on for one last push in the final five minutes. Giving out to Jimmy. They're looking for the one-two. 
and uh, looking for the pass down the line, but over hit and uh, drink it. It's just going to run the clock down here. And, uh, Jimmy giving it to Harris Sabovic. He's got Mirza Sabovic in the middle. Just content, I think, to let the clock run down a little bit. Giving that to Mirza. And Harris was caught late and a silly foul for Kermi to give away. And Sandak are just going to keep running down the clock. They are so close to crossing that line, Sandzak. Darko Drinkic getting a break and he playing that reserve game as well. So really such a big shift from Drinkic in such heat. Samanovic coming on for his final few minutes. Jimmy, the goal scorer, got it underway. And uh, he's caught from behind there, Mirza Sabovic, but the referee not giving. And here comes Kanakati. Sent out to Bordenka. Bordenka, he's got one-on-one -on -one with uh, Sekic. Sekic watching him carefully. And Sekic doing really well there, just to stand him up. And uh, Bordenka grabbed on and Ramo Sekic. The young teenager doing so well in this game, facing against a really good forward, Bordenka. Papucci's just got to get some shin pads on. The referee finally noticing after about 87 minutes that Papucci was missing a hand. You couldn't tell with the, some of the tackles Papucci's gone into today that he was missing his shin guards. And what a game we have had today, guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. If you're watching the YouTube, hit that subscribe button. We've got so much more coming to you the rest of the spring season and summer. And it's incredible, all the fantastic teams like Sanzac and Borgetto we've got to cover this season. And looking forward to many more seasons with these sides. Makic giving it to Sabovic, just ran away from him. Bastidas. And Russo pushing down the right. What well, surely would just be a consolation goal at this point. going to be Borgetto throwing. Rusis in the near post. Intercepted by Emetodis. Two minutes left on the clock. Bastidas sending that one in and Papucci clearing it out. Back with Santa. Salimovic couldn't get to that one and Santa is going to break forward here gives it out and uh, Kanakati on the turn and just too many bodies in there and great last stitch to Fenny by Sanzak again and it's a goal kick and they have really fought hard with their backs against the wall Sanzak some points to the second half I think Bob Yester could see themselves unlucky they couldn't at least get themselves on the score sheet they have had so much possession this second half in, in the Sanzak half. And we're in the last minute. There's up and here's uh, played through. And can they put the icing on the cake? Harisamovic, oh no, the flag's gone up. And the linesman is a brave man right in front of that Sanzak bench. Here comes Kermi, back to Bastidas. Bastidas giving it to 
Better. Then into Russo. And Casanta ghosted in behind, but intercepted. Mirza Sabovic just clearing that one out. Back with Sergio Peralta. And the referee is just holding up. They've got another four minutes of stoppage time. And if those legs are feeling tired, they're going to feel even more tired in this last period. Both sides. It has cooled down a little bit, but the first half, these players were playing a 91 degree. Kanakati coming forward. Sabovic watching really well and winning the free kick. And guys, if you are tuning in for the missile game, that will be right after this one. And the announcer is back on the broadcast system. They feel it's so close to being done. Sanzak, a famous victory. And as I said, they are just moments away. And they will play against Central Park Rangers in the final game of the season. And if they can beat Central Park Rangers, they will move into the promotion player spot, Sanzak. And Papucci got caught late that time. Sent up long by Dasic to Makic. And we've got a, a young PA announcer in the making, leading the cheers right now from Sanzak. But then could bring that one down. It's gone out for a throw though. And surely the referee's got a blow in a second. Papucci. Switching it out to Selimovic, who was putting such good display at centre back. Jimmy, nice exchange there with uh, Sabovic. Back into Harris. And Alasawi has a little bit loose. Bastidas. Uh, Papucci. Just caught him on the back and they're going to have a chance to launch this in and he's got a yellow cough for that Papucci. Uh, and guys, as I said, if you're tuning in for that Mr. LFC game, it's going to be right after this one. Just this rain running a little bit over. That's cleared out there by Amit Osalimovic. And there is the full time whistle. And Sanzak with a famous victory. The first team to beat Bozzetto in the Cosmopolitan Division 2 this season. And they will face against Central Park Rangers in a two weeks. And it is Central Park Rangers who are ahead of Sanzak. If Sanzak can get the result, they will win the game.
And what a day has been for And guys, I said we're going to be with uh, Monsieur Lassie's reserves against Bloc Espanol in just a moment. Put me on three for a sec, I'll just sign off. So, Jacob, can you make sure he gets the graphic right? So we'll do the end card and then we'll end, yeah. we'll end the stream. Right. Three. Three, two, one. All right, guys, well, that does it for our Sanzac coverage. Thank you so much to both Borgetto and Sanzac for bringing us into this game. We're going to have Missy LFC right after this game. We're just going to reset what a huge result for Sanzac. And they're going to be facing against Central Park Rangers in just two weeks. And we'll be having that game and that will be for the promotion spot. Guys, thanks so much. Do not go anywhere. We'll be back live in a second.